What's up everybody? It's your boy Nate Dizzy coming at you with another Fortnite video. Today's video is going to be three more drills for warming up in Fortnite. Now I already have one video on this and it's three basic and three advanced drills for warming up in Fortnite. It's a really good video. I advise you go check it out if you haven't seen any drill videos yet. But without further ado, let's jump into today's video, which I said is three more drills. Now, the first drill is going to be something that I forgot in my initial video, and that's just going to be 90 degree turns, just like so. And you're going to want to practice them from both sides. And this is kind of just like a gimme for this video. It's something that I just happen to forget. Now, the advantage to these is obviously the protection. When you're coming up, you're getting this extra wall right here to like say you're building towards somebody in this direction as you come up you have this wall here initially and then you can jump up peek them over this way or continue it go back this way and get the high ground over them um, while still maintaining a fair degree of protection over yourself the disadvantages are it's fairly easy knock down at certain points for example right there you could knock it down just by shooting out this ramp but they're most likely not going to be at an angle where they can do that in this situation. It's most used where they are straight on with you like this. So they have to shoot um, probably, you know, up. If they're like here, they're probably going to have to shoot through a wall and or they're going to have to um, shoot at a much smaller target as in the case of this uh, ramp there. So that's about it for that one. Now the next drill is going to be a okay so it's a ramp ceiling jump now what you're gonna do is you're gonna build a ramp this is a very unique way to take high ground you're going to build a ramp then a roof up top like this then you're gonna jump and place a ramp and then a roof like so and you're gonna hit the jump between the two just like this now what this is best used for practicing is your jump timing between jumps to make sure that you don't get jump fatigued as you can see you can easily make it up about four to five levels if you jump at the appropriate time and you have to jump at just the right time in order to accomplish this I'll show you again and probably fail yep just like that see I didn't wait that fraction of a second longer so this is really good for practicing jump timings as well as practicing switching back and forth from your ramps and your um, ceiling tiles which are you know obviously not used enough in this game while they are awesomely useful the next drill is going to be a it's a ceiling tile edit turnaround now the prerequisite for doing this particular drill is that you have your edit throughs down which is basically just coming up and being able to edit your way through your your roof when you place it once you have this down you're going to want to place that as if you were going to do an edit through but instead of editing this square out which you would which you would do and it would obviously destroy the tile you would edit this square which is going to raise that corner of it and then you're going to do a jump like this and you're going to continue up where you're going to just continue it now as you saw I got caught there and this is going to probably happen to you a lot if you're not already a god um, this took me forever to learn uh, probably the hardest edit hardest build that I've learned to do I learned um, you know double ramp with floors and walls you know so much faster than I learned this but it is very useful for practicing and warming up because it is so difficult you you get you know basically an all-encompassing warm-up where you're practicing your movement getting your movement dialed getting your uh, your you know look placement dialed as well as getting your build switch dialed like which build you're switching to so basically some tips on doing it obviously get that edit down and just go ahead and do it and practice getting the right jump because it is a pretty tough jump to jump like this and you want to make sure that you're jumping horizontally like this direction because if you jump this direction you're going to obviously miss the ramp now you can build below let's see you can build this ramp when you do that 
but it's kind of difficult. It doesn't work every time. And honestly, that's, you know, you're going to slow down a lot. So it's not as stylish or useful as if you had done it right. This is one where you're going to want to make sure that you practice it both ways, which I have not done enough. Um, that way, you know, when you do use it, you can do it properly, unlike me. And it's going to be a pretty difficult one, so keep that in mind. But it is going to help you. It is going to help you get better. I wouldn't have put it here if it didn't. Um, anyway, that's about it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, if I missed anything, um, if you just didn't like the video straight up, let me know down in the comments. If you did, let me know. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and want more. And I'll see you next time. Nate Dizzy out.